Good day and welcome to puzzle number 14. What number should replace the question mark? The numbers in the puzzles are as follows. In the first row, we have 3, 2 and 1. In the second row, we have 16, 12 and a question mark. And in the last row, we have four, 5, 4 and 6. As usual, we need to know what number is represented by the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of puzzle number 14. What number should we place the question mark? The numbers in the puzzles are 3 to 1 in the first row, 16, 12 question mark in the second row, and 5, 4, 6 in the final row. So if you can solve it, well done. And now I'm going to give you the solution to puzzle number 14. To solve this puzzle, you can either work in terms of row or it can work in terms of column. In this case, we are going to work in terms of column. So you look at the number 3, 16, 5, 2, 12, 4, 1, question mark, 6. So we need to manipulate the two smaller number to get the middle number, which is 16. Similarly, we need to manipulate 2 and 4 to get 12. So to do that, it's very simple. What we're going to do, we're going to square both numbers at the bottom. So 3 squared is going to be 9, and 5 squared is 25. To get 16, we just take 25 minus 9, and that is 16. So similarly, for the second column, you need to square 2 and you square 4. 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16. And then you take 16 minus 4. And that's how you get 12. And of course, in our last column, 1 question mark and 6, you square both numbers again. 1 square is 1. 6 squared is 36. To get a question mark, 36 minus 1. And the question mark is going to be 35. I believe most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses. And I'll see you in the next one and subscribe for more. Cheers, everyone.